finishing well can be a real challenge. Of the 2,930 people mentioned in the Bible, we know significant details of only about 100 people. And of those 100, only about 30 of them finished well. In Acts 20, we get a front row seat to one of those 30 who did finish well, Paul. In this story, Paul is headed to Jerusalem, but decides to make a pit stop to spend some time with the church elders of Ephesus. For three years, Paul had spent significant time with this leadership team, and it's safe to say they were pretty tight. But this meeting was different. There wasn't a lot of rah, rah, and fist bumps going on. Although Paul didn't know exactly what the future held for him, the Holy Spirit was making it clear to him that imprisonment and affliction were waiting for him. Sadly, Paul had a pretty good idea that this would be the last time he would see his friends from Ephesus. And that's when he starts his farewell address, unknowingly. His last recorded speech is a free man. He shares about his legacy, how he served with humility, endured trials and challenges, declared the whole truth of God, shared a message of repentance for everyone, and lived a life led by the Holy Spirit. This is quite a legacy, but Paul's not done yet. He goes on to the most important part, highlighting his worth and the importance of finishing well in verse 24, where he tells his friends, but my life is worth nothing to me unless I use it for finishing the work assigned me by the Lord Jesus. The work of telling others the good news about the wonderful grace of God. Wow! So here is a guy who's done all these incredible things for the Lord, created a lasting spiritual legacy, poured into the lives of others, and his final thoughts aren't focused on what he's done, but on what's next and what he needs to do to finish well. This is so impressive and emphasizes an important factor for us in our journey with the Lord. It's not how we start that matters. It's how we finish. Our life with the Lord isn't a hundred meter dash. It's a marathon and a long race doesn't require speed. It requires finishing power, fixing our eyes on the prize, and finishing well. Our prayer is that you will finish well, that you will complete the task the Lord has given you, that one day you will hear the words ring in your ears throughout eternity. Well done, good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of your master.